One day, Roblox finally sees the potential success in their respect gathering tactic of releasing an update that evokes nostalgia in players after a countless period of time of users on the internet saying that old Roblox is better. So Roblox got this for us. Just like a typical Roblox held event, it involves the participation of many other Roblox games. The roles of the games are to serve as the main setting of the event. Meanwhile, the official game serves as just a gathering place for players to teleport into games affiliated with the event. The common main task of players is to collect ticks and tokens, which can be exchanged for prizes. The way to collect these varies from the games because of their distinct systems. Players are also able to collect them from completing quests in the official event game. We can't live side by side. Our temperaments are incompatible, you must admit that. A dusty trip. The map turns classic and you collect ticks and tokens. Mutants here turn into zombies. All random items here seem to have changed to classic Roblox accessories. Not much of the gameplay has changed. Driving Empire. At first I thought there was no change aside from classic cosmetics. But there's now a classic Roblox race. There are tasks now, like racing against Builderman and so on. Clip it. TikTok, but make it Roblox classic. Post your TikTok with hashtag classic in the caption. Even I made a video here. To get Texas, you click plus, environments, and teleport to any of the classic maps. Ticks are scattered all throughout the classic maps. Gunfight Arena. Excel in a Roblox classic world while beating up noobs. Obtain classic items. Ticks are collected from shooting them. Toilet Tower Defense. No way, this is in the event. So there's a skin for a tower named Cameraman which you can get from completing the classic quest. There's a classic map. You collect ticks in the lobby. Live Topia. Roleplay but you collect ticks. Before you can even collect the ticks, you need to complete the token quest and get the badges first. Blade Ball. There's a boss vote after every few rounds. If it gets voted by the majority, you and the other players will have to fight one times one times one times one. Arsenal. You're on another one of those Tom Cruise movies to collect all ticks while getting haunted and attacked by NPCs, which are the subordinates of no other then the one and only 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Seemingly enough, tokens are gotten from badges. Just to impress. <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest, why is this even on here? You collect ticks and tokens that are scattered across the rooms. Please don't get interested in modeling here. Restaurant Tycoon 2. Good thing this game made it clear. Find text, force feed classic customers to earn tokens. Bet Wars. There's a new game relating to the event called Penguin Survival. I don't know, the penguins contracted a virus or something. Dragon Adventures. Enslave your dragon as you strive for money. Bee Swarm Simulator. Oh, wanna continue enslaving animals? Enslave your bees to get honey. But first, you gotta build up power and fame before conquering Europe. Adopt me. You help a financially unstable person get ticks and tokens. Tower Defense Simulator. You are remember one times one times one times one yeah he's the main antagonist and you gotta stop him i ain't doing that since it's tower defense that is all for me don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice day